Oh, it's been a while. One last thing before we go. See if the quarter zip is still there. Yes, yes, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're in the beautiful Talent Chase. It's not really that beautiful today because it's freezing cold, as you can tell. Whatever you call these things. In fact, what do you call these things? What's a buff, maybe? Let me know in the comments what you call these things because I've actually forgot, but we're back out on this weapon. Oh, it's been a while. Merida E160 10K. We'll go for a quick bike check. Michelin DH22. Shimano XDR brakes, drivetrain, obviously Merida, the best. Figlock bottle, Shimano cranks, Fox Flow X2, Reverb. The only thing that I've changed on this bike is the tyres, obviously to the best tyres in the world, the H22, the H34, and also this different seat because this dropout goes on my cross country bike and also this bike, so we switched the two. But yeah, we're back in Cannon Chase. <clears throat> We've come to ride some of the off-piece stuff. I haven't actually ridden here in probably, I would say a month or so now. I've been so busy going to other places. Went up to Scotland last weekend, etc. So, haven't actually been here for a while. And I think there's some new tracks, even though it's right on my doorstep. I actually don't get to ride here that often. So, got the e-bike. We've just been coaching this morning as well. Pegasus MTB. So, if you want any coaching, hit us up. Best in the game, of course. Um, but yeah, had a session with Phil this morning, jumps and drops, that was mega. Real good progression, so that was sick to see. Yeah, if you want any coaching, hit us up. We do it over Cannot Chase. Tim also does some at Hemlock. Um, so yeah, hit us up if you want any coaching. But yeah, we're gonna go out on this whip, take the GoPro with us, and go and ride some of the Cannot Chase off piece trucks, basically. For people who haven't been here before, um, you can decide if they're worth it or not. So our kind of chase off piece tracks really worth it. Let you decide, let me know in the comments what you think. We've made it. First set of tracks. I didn't film anything on the way here because I don't want to get told off by the local kind of trace trail builders because obviously they work very hard digging all these tracks and uh, they don't want loads of people finding out about them. Oh, I hope it's not really muddy because it's freezing cold. I can't bother to get soaking wet. Oh, right, let's see what this track's all about then. Oh, someone's built a nice new little jump. We'll go, we'll go left first and then come back up. Oh, someone's been a little double. Someone's been putting some new sections in. Can see a double. Ah. The e bike's so good over the chase because the flat pedley tracks, oh, the flat pedley tracks are actually made quite fun. Oh, someone's been doing loads of work on this. That's cool. Thank you, whoever you are. I think I speak on behalf of everyone when we say we appreciate it. Oh, this is actually real cool. Double drop. It gets tight in here. Oh la la. First track, done and dusted. That's always a real nice one to warm up on and it's had lots of work done. So whoever's done that work on the track, big shout out because it's actually sick. There's a few cool little jumps and stuff in there. And now just winching ourselves back up to the top on the e-bike the best thing since sliced bread. Although, I never had bread when it wasn't sliced, so I don't know if sliced bread was actually better. I don't know. If you've got any old people watching it, let me know in the comments what you think. What's better, an e-bike or sliced bread? I think an e-bike personally, but 
I'll let you decide. But yeah, we're gonna go back up and then we went left that time. So this time we're gonna go right, ride that little track that gets quite tight in the trees and then head over to the other side, I think. Right, now our conversation about sliced bread is over. We're gonna ride some more bikes. So same tiny little top section again. And then this time we'll go right. Usually this is full of puddles and it's not today. So that's very nice. Oh, spoke too soon. First puddle. Every time you go through a puddle today, it's like going into an ice bath, it's that cold. So sorry, but it looked like a good line. But it was a good line. Oh. Little high line down here. Oh my god, a lot of people have ridden that. That's a right rut. Pretty tight in these bottom trees. That one seemed a lot shorter than before. I believe it's our lucky day. We've found a new track. I don't know where. He's got the most awkward start ever through all this nasty stuff. Obviously in the summer it would be pretty good. If these forestry commission didn't come and log it wouldn't be a problem, but they do. So we're going in here. I'm not sure what this track is. I haven't ridden it before, as I've just said. So we're gonna go down. We've got some yellow ribbon stuff on the tree not sure what that symbolizes but i think red means danger doesn't it so hopefully not too much danger but we're going to go down see what it's about lots of people have ridden it there's lots of tire tracks every oh i almost fell off my bike then but there's lots of tire tracks so people must be riding it we'll see what it's about Ugh. right i've also done the classic overdress today and worn way too many layers it was freezing when I started and now I'm quite warm. But obviously, of course, you don't work hard on an e-bike as everyone says. Seems pretty fresh. Oh, we've got a jump. It's very soft, rolling very slow. Oh, more red. Red ribbon? No, yellow ribbon, sorry. Oh, and again, yellow ribbon. That must be to mark the way. Oh, another jump. Oh, into the woods. Oh, this is cool so far. Oh, almost crashing. I see, I see. Ah, oh, it comes back out on the same fire that the other tracks do. Now we're over to the next little hill. I actually love off piece tracks because there's little entrances like that all over Cannock Chase and there could literally be anything in there, but you just go down and ride them anyway. But Cannock Chase is looking very, very nice today. Although it's freezing cold, it is very nice. I've had to lose a layer though. So if anyone nicks my quarter zip from in those trees i'll find you and get it back won't do anything just get it back because i wore way too much and now i'm red hot yeah we're gonna go down here i think there may be a new track down here possibly i'm not too sure we'll find out we'll go down it and see what's what into the trees oh is that a new track to the left no i think it's just a different entrance down the long straight 
this is good until your e-bike goes over the limiter and then you're pedaling one heavy bike oh mixing tires hooking up the dream in these conditions Oh, that's one big rut now. Oh, it must be dry because there's no puddle. Usually there's a massive puddle there. Oh, a bit high line. No one stole my quarter zip, so thank you, people who come and chase me, I'm stealing that. Although there is hardly anyone about today, and I'm just out on my own. Everyone else is at work, so just came out for a cruise on my own after coaching and thought, why not bring the GoPro? Bring you guys to show you some of Cannon Chase's finest. And yes, yeah, there's probably, I would say, four or five different hills on this side of the chase um, that have all got tracks on them, so probably only two or three different tracks off each little bit um, but the, the hills are really easy to get to they're not very far away at all so I'm gonna go over to another little hill now ride a couple of those tracks and then finish off on some of my favorite tracks this one's one of Neil Speed's favorite on the hardtail it's got the three best turns in the world at the top well they were I haven't ridden them in a while so it might not be as good today here they are the three best turns Oh yeah, they're just as good. The amount of times Neil Speed has almost had a huge day in this track. He's unbelievable. Always swinging off it. A couple of little jumps here. You can go real, real far on them both. Oh wow. Those roots are all super exposed now. I think when anyone sees this drop, they know exactly where we are. Probably the most filmed pictured drop on the whole of Canic Chase. Because it's quite substantial to be fair, it's quite a big drop, mega blind from the top, but we're going to cruise up, I think there's probably five, maybe six tracks on this little hill. All real fun. Um, ride a few of those and then it'll probably be home time to be fair. I'm not sure how long we've been out for, but not too long. And it's always good on the U because it means you can ride double the tracks that you would usually in half the time. So sounds like a win-win to me. Why wouldn't you want one? If you do want one, two wheels only. Get yourself down there, say to Pete that his ginger beard is lovely and uh, he might give you a discount. Also congratulate him because he's actually a married man now, so congratulations Mr Booker. Yeah, if you want an e-bike, get yourself down to two wheels or any bike or anything for in fact, they've got lots of stuff, so get yourself down. I think we're going to head in this one and then there's a left and a right turning, so probably ride the left one first and then come back up and ride the right one we'll go left first pretty sure this one's a bit tighter i think this is the track where mr kyle well used to work at two wheels got obliterated the obliterator got obliterated by a tree down here so we'll watch out for that one well that's tight Oh my goodness, that bit's tight. Over the stump. Same track, just with a different middle bottom section, the bottom section. 
This time we're going to go right, we went left the first time and it's real good but it's very tight. I think this one's pretty tight too, but a little bit faster, possibly, I can't really remember to be honest. Just making it up to the go along. Could do back there. Not done that before, but it was nice. I think this drop may actually have outweighed the one that I said earlier was the most photographed drop on Canet Chase ever. It actually goes back on itself a little bit. It's quite steep. It doesn't look anything on camera, of course, but it is actually quite steep. We've rode those couple of little tracks then. That left and the right option, the same, well, same tiny little top bit and then different um, different bottom sections. But that one we just rode then is probably my favorite. It's a little bit faster. It means you can um, carry some speed through the trees a little bit nicer. There was a, a couple of little new gaps that have opened up down there, which was quite nice when people have been riding it. So. That's cool, and now we're going to go up and ride, I'm not sure what the name of it is, um, but I think I did see a tree down at the top, so might have to push around that, but I think it should be, uh, should be okay the rest of the way. Ah, oh, yeah, there is a tree down at the top. I think there's probably a route around it, though. Hopefully that's the only tree down and we can carry on riding the track as normal. I think there must have been a storm, possibly. This is quite a quite a few trees down by the looks of it hopefully there's none down here that you can't get round hopefully that's the, uh, the last of the trees drop at the bottom I think that will be the last track of the day I'm gonna cruise on back to the car park now because I'm absolutely starving basically it's two o'clock been coaching this morning and I haven't had anything to eat so I'm pretty hungry I'm gonna head back get some food and then I think that's it really. Of course, I've only used one bar of battery, so that means only one thing to get back to the car. Boost, of course. Why wouldn't you? And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Can't chase yet again delivery. It's a, it's a brilliant little place to ride. If you haven't been here, then come here. Come and ride these tracks, they're real cool. Obviously, I can't tell you where they are because I don't want to get told off by all the trail builders. And right so, but if you know where they are, keep them to yourself. Yeah, I think that concludes this short little video, basically. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to drop it a like. Consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. One last thing before we go. See if the quarter zip is still there. Oh, I think I can see it. Yes, no one stole it. We've done well. We've done well. See you later.